Okay, so how to uh, fillet a rainbow trout here. Very simple, a lot of people wind up cutting the head off, taking all the guts out, cutting the fins off, all that. There's a simpler process to this, I've done this a million times by now, and uh, I find that there is a simpler process to this. Let me show you real quick, very simple. First of all, you always wash the fish off uh, before you start cutting into it, it's just a good habit. Uh, make sure that your fillet knife is nice and uh, sharp. Okay. Now, you've got the fish laid out. Pull this fin up right in front of the, the fin. You cut down until you feel the spine, which is about right there where the tip of my knife is. Okay. And cut a little bit farther up here. Okay. And you don't want to cut too deep or you wind up cutting through the spine or puncturing organs and then there's a lot of blood. Okay, after you make the first cut, you're going to go ahead and get your knife right there and start. Make sure you get a firm grip on the fish. And you're going to start cutting back. And at this point, you're going to be able to feel the spine. So you can kind of use that as a guide to make your incision. You want to go on this side of the of the top uh, dorsal fin. Okay. You're going to cut all the way back. And remember, stay on this side of the, uh, the top fins. Okay, you don't have to touch the fins at all. And cut all the way back until about right there to where the... Uh, the end of the uh, the back fin starts. Okay, you're gonna make one. Oh, let me get a grip here. These suckers are slimy. Come on, let me get a grip. Usually I have a little uh, fish gripper, but my wife uh, didn't set me up, so I'm trying to hold on to it. In fact, I'm gonna cut the video. I'm gonna get a fish gripper. But you can either hook them in the uh, the tail or the head, however you want to do it. Actually, you know what? It's got to be the tail. Uh, it's messing me up here. Okay, no problem. You can get these fish clippers at Walmart for about $10. Okay. Make sure you flip it around for the way that it's easiest for you to use. Okay, now I've got the fish gripper. No problem. That thing works great. They're like 10 bucks. And once you use it, you will never want to use it. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to make an incision on the side of the spine. Now trout have a lot of bones. They have basically a rib cage that runs on each side of their body. So you want to run the knife along the side of their rib cage. And I'm left-handed, so everything is obviously in reverse for a right-hander. Okay, if you get the camera angle over here, you can see what's going on. See what I'm doing is slicing along the side of the rib cage. Okay, so you kind of just run that blade. You don't lose any meat. That's all the meat you're going to get off this whole one side. Okay, up until you stop seeing meat and it starts showing a lot of skin. Then you know you've reached where there's no more meat. Okay, flip the fillet like that. You're just gonna cut the uh, cut the skin because that's basically all that's holding this uh, this fillet on at this point. You're gonna cut it on this side of the uh, the fin of the fin. Okay, no problem. Okay, there's one whole fillet. I didn't have to gut them. I didn't have to cut its head off. I didn't have to uh, cut its fins off. Anything. As you can see, I mean, down to the bone. Down to the bone, all the way across. I probably could have did a little bit better right here, but I mean, that's nothing. You so want to hold up the fillet for me? There's the fillet all in one piece. There's no bones in there. It's just. 
That's all me. There's all the bones. You can see all the bones still on the fish. That's it. And then I just continue the same thing on the other side. One side, you just flip it around and do the same exact thing. So flip it around, rehook it, and let me cut it so I can find a, another spot for this fillet. We're back. I, I went ahead and bagged that one. Uh, now at this point, I've got it laid out on the other side. I've already filleted this side, as you can see, very minimal amount of blood or carnage. Uh, by doing it this way, you keep uh, the mess down compared to hacking it all up. So once again, I pull this fin back and start basically directly in front of it. Okay, cut all the way to the backbone. Okay. Take my knife and run it all the way along in front of the, uh, the both the, uh, the dorsal, dor dorsal fins, I guess you would call them. Okay. And this knife isn't as sharp as I'd like it to be, but it'll do. Okay, so I got that incision. I'm going to make one slice right here before the, uh, the fin starts. Okay, make sure that that's good right there. Okay. And then at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and get my knife in there, feel where the where the spine is, and just run my knife along the edge of the of the spine. And you can feel it. Okay. And you can see that. And at this point, I am. Well, that's along a nice the ridge. Okay. I mean, this is no meat wasted. That's about as good as it gets. And I don't have the largest kitchen in the world, so I don't have the biggest workspace, but you want to get yourself a little bit broader of a workspace. It makes it a little easier. Okay, and we're just slicing. The only thing that's holding the fillet on is just this flap of skin, so I'm just cutting along the flap of skin to remove the fillet. Okay, and voila. There's one whole other fillet. Now this looks like meat, but this is actually its backbone. This is its spine. So if you try to remove any meat right here, you're just going to get a whole lot of spine. That's not really edible. If you cut too far over here, you're going to hit its organs, and then you're going to have a bloody mess. So it's best to just cut up into the, to the pins and then slice it right there. This belly is where it's, all of its organs are. If you're to... No mess. If you're to poke this... Okay. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll go like this, and then they'll gut it, and they'll take all its guts out. That's but there's, but there's no reason for that oh, because so it's unnecessary. the fillets are on the side. It's unnecessary. So, with that said, I got both of my fillets off the fish. After you're done, you just pop them off. There's a completely filleted fish. Bam! In the garbage. And that's, and that's for, Duke, for Duke Adventures, how to fillet a fish. Yep.